I want to talk a bit about the British tax haven model uh, and where Brexit might take that tax haven model. Mr Johnson has already signalled very clearly that his strategy um, will be to move towards what's called Singapore on the Thames. This is once we leave, once Brexit goes ahead, at the end of this month they will move towards a Singapore on the Thames model. Mr Johnson will be pushing back against European Union regulation on information exchange, on taxation of multinationals, on publication of information about companies and especially trusts. Trusts are at the heart of the British secrecy model. And we think that poses a great threat, um, not just to the European Union, but to the rest of the world, because the intention here is to lead a race to the bottom in financial services regulation and taxation. And will this actually help the British economy? And my view is it won't help in the slightest. It will help the elites. The elites will get richer. The lawyers and the bankers who work around here will certainly do good business attracting more oligarchs and more plundered money and more multinational companies that want to use London as a base for tax avoidance. It won't help the rest of the economy because the rest of the economy is in the grips of what we call a finance curse. The vast majority of people in Britain will be not better off but arguably worse off as a result of the tax cuts and the cuts in public services. How will this affect the rest of the world? The real danger is that Britain, in moving towards the Singapore and the Thames model, will undercut regulation elsewhere in Europe, will undercut regulation in Northern America, will undercut regulation in Hong Kong, Singapore and others, and precipitate a race to the bottom. So the European Union needs to take a very hard line on alignment. It must be not just London, but the Crown dependencies, overseas territories, and the further they move away from alignment, the less market access they should have to the single market.